June 30th, 2014. This uh, eight-month-old dog has uh, vomiting and diarrhea starting on uh, three days ago. So, since there's no vaccination, not even one, so it's very hard to, to uh, recover. What you need to know about canine parvovirus, be kind to pets, an educational video for vet students and pet owners. This couple bought their young female terrier from a home breeder a week ago and boarded her at the pet shop for a night. She had not had any vaccinations done to protect her from canine viral diseases. She was brought to Topayo Vet after she came back and started vomiting and passing bloody stools. The causes of this dog sickness were narrowed down to parvovirus, foreign bodies in the intestine, and other causes such as bacterial infection or food poisoning. An x-ray was done to check for any foreign bodies present and showed a gas buildup in the intestines. Gas buildups can be caused by inflammation due to canine parvovirus. After a stool test was done, the dog was diagnosed with CPV. Now we'll show you how to conduct a CPV antigen test. As the original test for the Silky Terrier was unavailable, these are clips of a test done on another dog to check for CPV. So July 12, 2014, this cane terrier, uh, 7 years old, right? Female spade has blood in the stools for the last 3 days. Uh. So we, as the dog has not been vaccinated, we take a stool sample. There are two stool samples to do a parvovirus test. This dog has been to the boarding uh, pet stage, uh, pet shop or anything recently? No. No. Uh, dog runs. So we mix in the this diluent, then we'll shake it and uh, But you said the last time you had this same problem, when was that? Uh, the blood in the stool? Was it treated? Yeah, it was. She, she was having diarrhea. When was that? Diarrhea. Uh, I brought her to the... No, I mean which, which, which month was that? Last year? Yeah. A few months ago? The end of the year. End of the year. November. But is it the same type of blood in the stool? Yes, correct. Same type. Huh? So we, we will put four drops in and then uh, it's supposed to run through the, the late one. Then we see two lines will be positive, one line will be negative uh, for, for power virus. This test is uh, quite fast, like it, it goes. One line means negative there. Okay, one line, this is one line as, as yours. So your good, good news is it's negative. Uh. Mm -hmm. If two lines means positive. Right. The line must be in the in the right place, otherwise if it's in the wrong place, like for example this one, then there's something wrong with the reagent. It's not working. Oh. So, what is CPV and how do you protect your dog from infection? Canine parvovirus is a genus of viruses in the parvoviridae taxonomic family. These are what structures of CPV look like. Canine parvovirus is a round, non-enveloped, single-stranded DNA virus. It is only 20 to 26 nanometers in diameter and has an icosahedral symmetry. Dogs within 6 weeks to 6 months of age are most likely to be infected. The CPV virus does not affect humans. The virus is spread amongst dogs through contact with infected feces and dogs can be infected whenever they come in contact with other dogs for example, at the groomers or the boarding kennel. This dog began supportive treatment, but her owners were told that the chances of her recovery were very slim as she had not had any vaccinations done. Thus, they decided to put her to sleep. Since there isn't a treatment for CPV, vaccinations are crucial to prevent infection altogether. One way to prevent your dog being infected is to make sure it has been vaccinated thrice as a puppy and yearly as it matures. Do not board or bring puppies where they could come in contact with other dogs if they have not had all three vaccinations done, as they are very susceptible to parvovirus infection. Only two weeks after the third vaccination are puppies fully protected. The Silky Terrier would not have been infected if a breeder had vaccinated her and would live to be a healthy dog like this one. Though only two months older than the Silky Terrier, this poodle is much livelier 
and both inquisitive and playful.